Hello, this is Lowell from Plants Beautiful Nursery, and we're going to show you how to plant a tree here today. So we're going to measure the width of the ball and the depth of the ball to determine the hole size. Uh, hole needs to be 8 to 10, 12 inches wider than the widest point on the ball of the tree to allow for room for the dirt to sift down around the ball in the hole and ease of watering later on. Depth needs to be uh, level with grade if you have a well-drained soil. If you have an extremely sandy soil you're planting into, you may want to plant a few inches below grade, depending on whether irrigation is present. If irrigation is present, you definitely don't want to do this if it's in an irrigated area. Uh, if it's a thicker clay, uh, you want to have it above grade by a few inches at least and you want to make sure that the um you know right about there would be good for how far above grade you are looking at um, if you're going in a really really heavy soil and breaking up the edges of the hole in that heavy clay or silt so that the roots can grow out of the hole easily if you've created a hard pan or a slick surface when digging the hole Something else that we do is we uh, put the tag on the side of the tree that's usually the nicest so it makes for ease of planting without having to on the, tie the tree first. So the tag is usually on the nicest side of the tree. We use nursery jars and a lot of people do as well for planting trees when you have large numbers of them. But it can be accomplished uh, with larger trees with a uh, bucket or forks, uh, chains help in this or a strap, um, load binders are nice too, you just put a load binder or kind of uh, on each um, fork and then just uh, hook it on one of the metal rings on the ball and lower it in there. Can be just slid in the hole too by hand. Now straightening the tree relatively simple just have one person kind of push on the tree you know stand back on it put some dirt in it you know kind of look at the general uh you know alignment of the tree while it's tied up is really uh, usually the best way to get it uh straight up and down kind of tell what direction the top is pointing and the overall direction the tree is leaning now we fill in the dirt around the tree um, without cutting off any ropes, any burlap, removing any wire, or any other way disturbing the ball of the tree. We have found over the last 40 plus years that trees survive the best without disturbing the ball and we have not had any trouble with girdling of trunks or anything else like that. We use all uh, biodegradable rope and burlap. Some of it's treated but it will break down eventually and it doesn't cause any issues with the tree with girdling or any other issues uh, like that. What we find is the most important thing with leaving on the, the ropes and the burlap and the wire is the integrity of the ball so that the tree does not rock as much. Um, obviously staking is required in certain locations on all trees, but more staking would be required of all trees if you were to remove the rope and burlap from the tree. Um, those new roots that are going to grow out of the ball need to have stability in order to uh, be able to take hold. And as you can see, we're filling in the soil onto the burlap and around it. And once we've got all the soil that we need on top, you know, just a few inches on the burlap, and everything around the edges we will put a lot of the extra dirt around the tree to create a little bit of a berm or a dike in order to keep the water in there as we water it in um, for the first uh, growing season this is important to keep the moisture around the tree as you water it because that's where all the roots are on the first season and it'll need some watering during that first season if there isn't enough moisture available uh, from rain or irrigation. And, um, you know, if you have sod, it works out okay to take the sod um, chunks that you had around the tree and cut them up, 
turn them upside down, kind of put them around the tree as a dike, put some a little bit of the extra loose dirt on top of that, and create a little bit of a dike. And then you can break that down, rake it out in the next few years. It'll just kind of uh, dissipate anyway over time. Um, this is just for the first season of uh, full season really of, of watering to get the tree established and make sure that it has enough moisture and it really helps in the next stage here when we start watering because uh, the water will just run off especially if you're on any kind of grade it's very helpful to have a little bit of a dike around the tree Here's all four of the trees that we're planning uh, finished filling in with the dirt. Now we're going to move on to watering. Um, what we use uh, works best for a lot of trees is we uh, got a three quarter inch piece of uh, galvanized pipe about four feet long, put a 90 degree elbow on it and an adapter to a garden hose fitting. And that allows to get down in between that space between the edge of the hole and the ball of dirt and work the soil down to alleviate all the air pockets. And that's really the goal here is to get all the air pockets out and get the soil to go down um, in there. And water is the best for this because water um, doesn't compact the soil and it uh, moves the dirt and earth down in and getting all that air out is important for uh, full rooting of the tree. Um, you know, just working around the tree, going around, uh, you don't need a ton of water pressure. You want enough water that, you know, it kind of keeps uh, piling up on you there. And once you got about three trees in, you can uh, have the rest of the crew keep on planting and uh, have one guy watering continuously. And if you've got a couple guys planting, they can usually stay ahead of. Uh, one guy who's watering and that works out pretty good then you almost always get done about the same time you know even if you got a full day's worth of trees going in but yeah just working that water in um, and uh, getting all that air pockets out and um, making sure that um, you know the water is getting down in there and that you're not you know got a bunch of rocks in there you know that you've dropped in there so that the, the soil is sifting down in there with the water as you're going around the other nice thing about the getting all this water in there is it gets the tree ball saturated all the burlap um, will become saturated and completely um, able to absorb water very easily Now we're going to come back after we've watered in the four trees to the first one and we can see where the soil has gone down in and just created some holes, air pockets uh, are showing. So what we're going to do is throw some more soil in and then go back with the hose and water that soil down in again in kind of a rinse and repeat cycle. Second watering is a little faster. You know, you've thrown dirt in on the holes and just working it down in there again. Uh, usually won't need more than two full waterings. Untying the tree is pretty simple. Just find the end that we tied off, untie it or cut it off, and then just walk around the tree if it's too tall to reach and cut. And once you can get to where you can reach and cut, or it's a shorter tree, just cut the, every other string or every string and just pull off the twine. Um, you know, and the branches will come down. And then as after you get all the twine off, just kind of go around the tree and uh, pull the branches down a little bit. Get all the branches to uh, come down to kind of a natural position. It'll it'll take a while. The tree's been tied up for a while, but uh, you know they'll come down nicely. Well, we got these few in. I've uh, got quite a few more to go here, as you can see by the empty holes. Um, just wanted to give you an idea how we recommend planting uh, ball and burlap trees and how we have been doing it for the last 40 years or so. Um, we have really good success rate with this and recommend that if you have any questions, email or call us. Thanks.